Hi guys, welcome to my channel, I guess, my YouTube channel. This is my first YouTube video I've ever filmed. I know I'm pretty late to the YouTube game, but I have been on here watching for quite some time. I love YouTube. I watch everything. I watch vlogs. I watch try on hauls. I watch luxury hauls. I love um, like what's in my bag videos and my favorite kind of videos, which is the kind of video I'm doing today is a current favorites video. So during quarantine, I know we've all like been home a lot more and just kind of like not doing a whole lot compared to probably like what we all used to be doing. And so I've been online shopping quite a bit. I'm gonna show everyone things that I've been loving lately. I think it's so fun to just kind of like watch videos and be like, oh my God, like I love that, I wanna try it. And then, you know, everything's linked down below, which I will also do. But yeah, let's just kind of get into it. I really have like no end goal with this channel, by the way. I just really wanted to kind of like create a place to chat. I love just talking about products and talking about things I love and that I'm passionate about. It's so fun for me. So yeah, sorry for the long intro. Hopefully you haven't already clicked out by now on my first video ever. So the first thing that I wanna talk about today is kind of a random one, but it's kind of like life changing. So, uh, I don't know, a couple weeks, months ago, I don't even know, I was on Instagram, you know, the usual, and I can't remember whose story it was, so I wish I could like credit where credit's due, but I seriously can't remember who it was but someone posted this, and this is a silicone loofah. And I know you're probably like, why is your first product a silicone loofah? She linked this article that was talking about why you shouldn't use your fabric loofah. And basically it went on to say all these things about like all this kind of mold and stuff that grows in the fabric and in the middle. And like a lot of times you don't even know it's there and like you can't see it. So it's not like, it's like, ew, there's mold, let's throw that away. It's like, there's mold and we don't know and we keep using it which is disgusting. She linked this and I thought this was so cool because I was like, I've never seen this. And so obviously when I read that article, I was like, I'm ditching the fabric loofah also. So I bought this off Amazon. Everything will be linked below. But what's cool about this is it's dual sided. And what I really, really love about this is, so this is the side that I use to like cleanse with. Mine's like still a little damp from earlier. Sorry, I probably should have like dried that, but you know. This is the side that I cleanse with. I like pump my soap in here. It like foams up, whatever. You wash yourself with it. And then what it's really cool is this side I like to use to exfoliate self tanner. So I self tan, I would say like twice a week, sometimes three, depending on how much I need a tan. So what's cool is when I'm ready to kind of like rinse off that old like layer of self tanner and start fresh, I use this side. And this is great because it's very, very like, it's gentle. It's not gonna be something like stripping and harsh where like you're rubbing and you're also like scratching yourself because I've exfoliated like that in the past too. It's not gonna help your skin at all and it's really just gonna make things worse. So what I like about this is it's really, really gentle and you can just literally brush off, exfoliate. It's really easy and then you're done. I think this comes in a two pack because I did buy one for my sister also because when I saw that article, I was like, we're both done with this. It's not just me, it's you too. And so I think it comes in a pack of two. So hers is blue and like obviously mine's pink. So you can check that out, which I think is so fun. Okay, my next product is something I've been obsessed with during quarantine because obviously gyms have been closed. I really like to go to spin studios. I really like to lift weights. I do like to run, which you can obviously do at home anyways, but for lifting weights, I was kind of like, okay, well, I can't do that right now. So I, I know you've probably seen these all over Instagram at this point, but I am just, I love them so much. I just wanted to share. So they are the Bala Bands, which are so cool. So they're Velcro. I don't know if you can see that. So they're Velcro here. You can wear these as ankle weights or wrist weights. I find myself using them more as wrist weights than ankle weights. I don't know why, I, I use them for both, but they're just awesome. I think they're one pound and they come in a ton of different colors. This is the nude like beigey color. I really, really love these, you guys. They have been a game changer for me during quarantine. I've used them at pretty much every at-home workout that I've done so far. You can get them on lots of places. I know they've been sold out a lot lately, so I'll try to find a link where they're in stock. 
I, when I wanted to buy these, couldn't find them anywhere. They were sold out on Amazon. They were sold out on Revolve. They were sold out on actual like balabands.com or bala.com. I actually randomly found these on Free People, which I wouldn't normally think to look there for these, but they were there. They're awesome. And if you're looking to just kind of like amp up your at-home workout game a little bit, these are a great choice. And they're just so easy, like, like kind of rambling, but the ones that I'm thinking of at the gym, like the, the ankle weights or wrist weights that you use at the gym, I'm thinking of, you kind of have to like thread them through this little like metal hole to like size them. I don't know, I just feel like I always remember like struggling to get them on or it took too long or whatever. These are so quick and easy. It's literally just a bracelet. I'll like show you right now. Like I'm literally just gonna, done. Like it's on, it's so easy and it's just, it's great. This one is something I wear almost every single day of my life. This is a bralette. A little bit of a backstory. I work for a boutique in town that's so cute and so fun and the owners are so sweet, but they are like known for their bralettes. They have the most amazing bralettes. Like this, so pretty. Like you could wear this for any, like I wear this when I dress up. I wear this to just like dress casual. I've literally worn this to the gym if I've forgotten a sports bra, I'm not kidding. Let me tell you why. So first of all, they're padded, which I'm obsessed with. I will not wear a bralette if it's not padded. For me, it's like, why am I even wearing it? And then the other thing about these is they're super stretchy. So the back is actually like very, very stretchy fabric, which is great because it fits really anyone. They do have different sizes for like different cups and whatnot, but just going off of like your um, band size. And the other great thing about them is they're also adjustable. So not only is it stretchy and it has padding, it's like supportive and it'll fit you exactly how you want to because of the elasticity. But then on top of that, you can really, really um, size it to your liking. And that's what's so, so great about it. And the detailing's just so pretty. This is probably my favorite color that the boutique has. This one's called Champagne, but there's so many colors, you guys. I have this in pink, which they call it mauve. I have black, I have white. They have so many colors and they have good sizing. I'm not kidding. I have not worn a real bra in, I, I'm not being dramatic. Like it's been a good two or three years. I don't have any anymore in my drawer. They've set sail. They're in another lifetime. I don't own any, like I don't own any real bras. I only own sports bras and bralettes. That's it. Okay, moving on. This next one's a book and I'm not like a crazy, reader like i don't just like sit and like what do they call it a bookworm i'm not a bookworm okay i am not someone who can sit there and like focus on a book for hours on end i have to really 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 be into this book for it to even keep my attention for more than 10 pages and i've found i'm really only into like business driven books don't know why but like girly business driven books what comes to mind is like work party is a good book or um, How to Become an Overnight Success is a really good, um, like girly business driven book. But this book is probably my favorite I've ever, ever um, read. And it's called, This Is Not a Fashion Story by Danielle Bernstein. Um, and she is the founder of We Wore What. So if you don't know who Danielle Bernstein is, you probably know what We Wore What is because of her Instagram or her blog. She's all over the place, you guys. She just became a best-selling author, I'm pretty sure. So like this, this is a really good book. So what's cool about this is it is a business-driven book. She does talk a lot about how she um, created We Were What, and she talks a lot about how she kind of, you know, came to be who she is. She really talks about all that and like her strategy and things. But what's nice about this book is it's not so industrial. It's not so like, here's the steps to success and here's how you're gonna make it in the business world. Like it's more like, Here's my story on how I got there with all the like gossip and deets from it, which I love. It's this book is literally like, she's like straight out of sex in the city, you guys. Like she, she lives in New York. Like she's literally Carrie Bradshaw. It's insane. Um, but I love this book because she talks all about like her dating life and balancing business. She talks all about like going on trips and brand trips and being an influencer and she talks about shopping and she talks about all kinds of stuff and it's just i found it so good so there's 27 chapters in here and she says like every chapter is a lesson which is so cute i read this in a couple days you guys and that's like unheard of for me because i don't read number one and number two if i start a book it usually takes me a good couple months i just fell in love with it i was reading it every single night until i finished it and when i finished it i was like oh it's over like what else do i do now I have to online shopping just kidding but 
that's a great read. So if you are looking for a book and if you um, know that you want to go somewhere in the business world, um, this is a great book and she focuses on fashion. So that's another thing. If you're really into fashion or want to kind of start a career in the fashion industry, this is a great read. This is something that's just really cute and fun. So this is literally a water bottle and it's like, what's so great about a water bottle? First of all, it's so cute. It says water is your skin's BFF. I see that it's like reflecting. There we go. Getting used to this YouTube thing. I love this. It's so cute. It's pink. It's petite. I love it. Okay. So confession, I'm someone who before all of this like quarantine stuff, I was the person that's like rushing out the door. Let me just grab a water bottle from the fridge and here I go. I know everyone's like on the no plastic train, like stop using that and start using reusable water bottles. I was doing that for a while and then I kind of just honestly got like lazy and like wasn't cleaning them every day and so I wouldn't use them every day. And so I was just grabbing plastic water bottles and it was more convenient and blah, blah, blah. But when COVID-19 came out, I started, I mean, I'm a crazy germaphobe before all of this but now that we are where we are, I'm I'm even crazier and it's just like, it's, it's really bad. I'm like crazy washing my hands. You've probably already been able to tell that my hands are super, super red and dry and now you all look at them, but that's okay. Um, at least you know they're clean. Just, I am so like afraid of germs now, just in general and just like, no, no, no. So this leads me to what I was talking about originally. So when I'm unscrewing like a regular um, water bottle, I'm thinking like, oh my God, like what if my hands aren't super clean and they're accidentally touching where my mouth's gonna go? Like I wasn't thinking about that before. And I mean, I don't think anyone really was, but I was like, Ugh, I just don't like that. And when I'm working out, especially, especially now that gyms are open and things, I just don't wanna be touching equipment and then even chancing touching where my mouth is literally gonna drink out of after that. So I love this and I've been trying to buy more water bottles like this with straws. It's just so cute and I found this. So it's someone that I follow on Instagram. I've followed her for a couple years. Her name is Haley LaRue and she's so cute. She has a little blog. She has a little shop called The Blondie Shop, which is where you can buy this and I'll link it down below, but it's just so cute and it's so fun and I just love, this just makes me feel so much like cleaner. Okay, <laughs> let's move on to the next thing. This is so fun, you guys. I'm like, why didn't I do this sooner? Talk about, I did not mean to sing. I don't sing. So here, we'll talk about self tanner because I was talking about exfoliating with this guy. So this you've also probably seen all over Instagram. This is the um, Lux Unfiltered Number 32 Hydrating Self Tanning Cream. This is like the holy grail of self tanner. If you follow Sivan Ayla on Instagram, this is her brand and she created this product. It's so cute. It's look at the packaging. So cute. Look at this little, like it's wood. I don't know. I just think it's cute. I love this and it smells you guys. It smells so good. I like, I read the ingredients and I think what I'm smelling is the passion fruit oil because there's passion fruit oil in here. But for some reason I keep getting like a rose, like a fresh floral rose scent. I'm not sure if there's any of that in here because I don't see it, but that's what I smell and it smells so good. It doesn't smell like self tanner at all. People go, oh, it doesn't smell like self tanner. You won't smell like, you know, that residue afterwards. And I'm like, oh, cool. And so I buy whatever they're talking about. And then I'm like, I definitely smell like self tanner. This one, I swear, I promise you, you can come for me if you do, but you won't smell like self tanner when you use this. It's the best. Before this, I was using the, um, Tan Lux The Butter and Tan Lux The Gradual. They both for me worked very, very similar. They were just different consistencies. One was more of a cream lotion kind of like this. And then one was more of like a liquidy oil. And I loved those. And it was really hard for me to kind of like quit those to move on to this and try this. Like I was very hesitant to try this because I just already loved what I was using so much already. I was like, why would I switch to something if I love what I'm using? But this got me and I switched and I'm obsessed, so jump on this. This next thing is another like random thing, kind of like the loofah where you're like, why are you putting this in a favorites video? But it's something that I found so like helpful. Next to my vanity, I have like drawers and in my drawers is where I keep my hot tools, my straightener, my wand, my curling iron. And they're always obviously hot when you're done with them. And so I'm not someone who's like gonna risk putting my hot tools on my desk or on my vanity and have it like make a mark. 
because I just don't like doing that. So in my drawer, I found this to go in. This is from Amazon. I don't even know what they call it. Basically a mat, a rubber mat. It just keeps whatever surface you're putting your hot tools on from burning, which is like kind of life-changing. It's really just something so small, but something that has just like helped me out. You could probably use it for a million and five other things. I'm thinking you could use this a lot in like the kitchen for something. I don't know, maybe. I don't really cook a lot, um, but and it's this cute little pink color. So obviously that kind of matches my theme I've got going on, big pink girl. So I just kind of wanted to share that because it was just like a little, it's like a little life hack. I'm gonna talk about the Summer Fridays CC Me Serum. I love this stuff, you guys. I'm gonna be honest, I did not care for vitamin C before this. I really was like, what does it even do for you? I didn't know a lot about it. And I'm like a pretty like, crazy skincare person. I've got a routine, I've got a skin fridge. I'm like pretty intense. So I wasn't even using a vitamin C and I was kind of like, eh, like, I don't know, I just feel like I don't need it. Like I like my routine. So basically what vitamin C does is it's an antioxidant and it's really, really good to help your complexion. So what it's gonna do is really, really help if you have like hyperpigmentation or you have dark spots, it's really gonna help with your just like overall skin tone and color. It's gonna really help to like even it out and make everything kind of like a seamless, just like all over color. And some people have that naturally, like my sister, I'm so jealous. She literally has no red spots. She like has no hyperpigmentation. Her skin's always flawless, like it's perfect. And I'm like, okay. But I love this. I've been incorporating this into my morning routines. So something about vitamin C that I've learned while using it is you don't wanna use it with any of your active serums. So that's like your BHAs, your AHAs. You don't wanna mix this with any retinols, anything like that. So what I've been doing is using this in my morning routine and then using my more like active serums at night. And so you can use them in the same day, just don't do them at the same time. But this product's been so, so good for helping with my complexion. I've always kind of just dealt with redness and just having some discoloration here and there. And this has really, really helped to just even everything out and help with any red spots. So I love that. So this next product is from Lawless Beauty and I'm obsessed with this one. It's probably my newest like favorite product just overall right now. And it's the Lawless Set the Stage Hydrating Priming Serum. And so you're probably like, wow, that sounds like a lot. And it kind of is. So usually when I see like three in one or two in one products, I'm immediately like, nope. Like I, I'd rather buy every individual product for its every individual need. And why do I want a shampoo and conditioner in the same product? Not that that's what this is. So this is so cool. So I love Annie Lawless. She's like one of my favorite, like just overall people to follow on social media. She's just like life goals. So I was listening to her talk about this product and why she formulated it. So she was saying that she just couldn't find like a good routine before applying her makeup, if that makes sense. Like she, she felt like she was putting on too much. Like she felt like it was like, okay, my morning serum, my morning, moisturizer okay my morning primer and she was like by the time i'm putting my makeup on it's like there's already so much crap on your face you know and so she wanted to create a product that was kind of like a light and airy formulation but did all of those benefits before putting on your makeup and so she did it and here it is i love this you guys it smells so good this is so cool because it really is like a three in one. I don't like to call it that, but there are like three benefits in this one product. I've never even thought of using something like this. I've never thought of anything like this. Like she just comes up with stuff that's like so great. Basically, I've just been loving this. I notice my makeup really, really stays on a lot longer when I use this. Usually I'll get like creases in my smile lines and kind of like forehead wrinkles by like, I don't know, I'd say like hour 10 or something of wearing makeup. And when I do this before, I don't notice that. And that's crazy because I've never been able to find something that does that. I've been doing all kinds of baking and setting powder and all kinds of stuff. And it, honestly, to me, it just like accentuates my lines when I put powder. It doesn't like help make them go away. This is a great product, you guys. Like I love, love, love this one. Okay, so this next one is a skincare product. This is the Biosance Squalene and Hyaluronic Toning Mist. I love a good toner. The scent, oh, like the scent. Okay, I literally just keep spraying and like smelling products on camera. But this is so good. Um, Like I said, it has squalene and hyaluronic in here, which are two of the like holy grail 
hydrating ingredients of like life. So the fact that they're both in this product means it's like, it's it's gonna be good. I'm using this for a couple weeks now and I know it doesn't look like much has been used, but honestly, the mist is so fine and it's just, but you get so much in just one spray. So I don't, I, I think this will last me a really long time. I think it's really um, light. It doesn't feel heavy. It feels very, very hydrating. And so I'll do this after I double cleanse and it's just, it's really good. This next one I'm so excited about. This was like a random find. So I've probably been trying to find a natural deodorant, I would say for probably about two years now. Like it's been a while and I could not find one that I love. I tried all of them. I don't want to like name ones that I didn't like, but I've tried a lot and like you can probably recommend them to me and I'll be like, tried it. Like I went through a lot. Kind of like just randomly came upon this one. I've never even heard of it. I haven't really seen any influencers or anyone like post about this yet. So I think it's fairly new it's called Hume Supernatural and they have two different kinds on their website. They have this one, which is in the scent Desert Bloom. And then I know they had an unscented one. And so I really just wanted to try the scented one. It smells so good and it has so many benefits. Like, and it's made with prickly pear. I just thought that's so cute. I live in Arizona. So when I see like desert kind of things, I'm like, ooh, cool. You know, like people know we exist out here in the desert. I really love this one. The ingredients look awesome. I mean, everyone's version of clean is obviously different. You have to sweat because it's healthy. And so when I know that my deodorant's literally just making me not sweat, that's kind of like not what I want. It's more like I want to mask the smell of sweat with something sweet smelling and nice smelling. And of course every deodorant's gonna help you like sweat less because that's one of its main functions. Um, but this is more just kind of like, it's, it's just, it's really healthy deodorant. Literally the bottom of this is like paraben free, gluten free, cruelty free, baking soda free. Like it's free of everything, okay? It's really good, so you should try this. Okay, so this one's another like workout item. You've also probably seen these all over Instagram as well, but I am obsessed with the brand APL or Athletic Propulsion Labs. They're so cute. I have a ton of different colors, but these are my two favorites. So I have the rose gold here and I have just like a plain black pair here and they are a little dirty, I wear them almost every day. They're the only shoe I will work out in. I played softball for 14 years of my life, so I've had my fair share of, you know, Adidas and Nike and New Balance and all of the workout shoes and like they're great, but I've just never found something like this. Like the level of comfort that is in these shoes is unbelievable. They literally like shape to your feet. They never hurt. I've done like a good amount of Disneyland days in these, you guys, and it's like, Usually if you, if any of you know, like you get up to the room and you're like, what do you mean we have to go back for like round two at night? Like my feet hurt so bad. I don't want, I want a churro, but not that bad. You know what? You wear these shoes, you'll want a churro. You'll want a Dole Whip and you'll want to go on Space Mountain seven more times because your feet feel great. Seriously, they have so many colors that other brands don't have. They really, really, really filled a gap in the market because they, came out with a million shades. They have everything. I remember my very first pair of APLs that I bought were like this baby pink shade and I still have them. I wear them sometimes, but they're kind of like crazy. They're like all like bright baby pink. But I was just so excited when I found them because I was like, I've never seen a pair of shoes this color before. They're just the best. They're the best workout shoes ever. I can run in them. I can walk in them. I work out in them. They're also so cute that they just look good for like streetwear style. So if you're just trying to do like an athleisure look one day and you really don't want to try hard, you can just wear like, how cute are these rose gold? Like they're like metallic-y. Automatically like amp up your look and I love. Okay, this next one is another skincare product. And this is the Boschka Makeup Breakup Cool Cleansing Oil. This is exactly what it sounds like. When I do my skincare, I use something like a micellar water or like something like this to kind of take all my makeup off initially and then I'll cleanse and double cleanse. I feel like a lot of people start with their cleanser first, which is fine. I wear a lot of makeup, so I like to take it all off and have my actual like base, like my face, my actual like skin to be cleansed rather than like cleansing with the makeup. I like to take the makeup off and cleanse my face. And I know a lot of people use makeup wipes and there are some like really good clean formulated makeup wipes, but I 
only use a Neutrogena wipe if I absolutely have to and it's my last resort and there's no other way to take my makeup off because I just really, really am not the biggest fan of makeup wipes. I do use them to take off my eyeshadow, I will say, because I have lash extensions and it's really hard to like get in there any other way without damaging my lash extensions. So I do use that for, um, I will use a makeup wipe for that, but really just for everything else, I like to use something like this. This is like a new level, I'm obsessed with this. So this is like a gel-like consistency and it smells amazing. I'm not gonna smell it on camera, but it smells amazing. So what I do is I'll like pump a couple of, I'll do like one or two pumps in my hand, warm it up, and then literally just go straight in all over. And seriously, it melts your makeup. Like it just it totally breaks it up. Like it's called makeup breakup. It's not a lie, it's what it does. Just take like a damp like facial towel or a little like washcloth and just kind of like um, rinse it off. And so I love this. This has been like my new favorite way to take my makeup off. And it's a clean brand, so I'm here for it. I only have a couple more. This next one is kind of another random, like what is she talking about one? But it's a hand steamer. And so what this is, is literally like if you go in like the stores, you know, you'll see like people with the steamer steaming clothes. So they make little hand steamers. A lot of people have these. A lot of people know about these. Um, it took me working in a boutique for almost a year to finally buy one. I seriously, up until a couple months ago, was um, still ironing my clothes with an ironing board and an iron. This is 2020, okay? Like, it's time to have a steamer. But it's so easy. You just, like, take this off. You pour some water in here. You hit the little power button when it's plugged in. And it seriously takes... I would say under two minutes to heat up and then like the steam comes out and you just steam it. It's so easy. You can take this with you on trips. It's really, it's it's a game changer. This is my last item and it's literally a pair of slippers. I wear these all around the house all the time. Found them on Amazon, super inexpensive. But this cheetah print like does not get dirty and I just literally, I don't wear them anywhere other than the house. And like, I have not been able to find cheetah print ones. Every time I try to find cheetah print slippers, they're sold out everywhere. So I found a really good pair on Amazon. So I'll link these two. That is all my items. I hope you found something that was somewhat interesting to you and that you, you know, maybe try something. Let me know in the comments what kind of videos you guys want to see. I'm really down to do current favorites. I Like I just did, I'm always down to do more favorite videos. I love like what's in my bag. I love just vlogs. I love hauls. Really anything Q and A, it's totally like I'm open to it all. I guess this is where I say, don't forget to like and subscribe. And thank you so much for watching. Bye.